This first activity is designed to give us an understanding of the layout of a spreadsheet and in how certain areas of the spreadsheet are named as well as other elements related to the spreadsheet. So what we're first talking about is cells, columns and rows. Across the top here we have all our columns and our columns as you can see are named after letters. Okay, so it starts at letter A and goes all the way to Z and then after Z it becomes AA and then AB, AC and so on. So basically we have more than 26 columns available to us if necessary. Down the left side of the page is the names of our rows and they're just simple numerical numbers. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So and that gives us how we identify each specific cell on our spreadsheet. So I'm going to click on this cell here. And as you can see, it is column C, row 4. Therefore, that cell is identified as C4. This one here would be B2. And the cell over here would be E7. So this is how we pinpoint what we're going to do in every cell. We name it by its relative column and row. Now, in this first activity, we're going to create a formula that's going to calculate basically five numbers entered into our spreadsheet. In order to do this, we're going to use a combination of the three elements of a spreadsheet, which are labels, values, and formulas. So first thing we're going to do is enter our labels. I'm going to write number one and number two. And now I'm going to do this for five numbers. But one of the beauties of spreadsheets is once it picks up on a pattern by the fact that I've written number one and number two, I can highlight it and then go to this little area in the corner here where you can see a little square, click and drag, and it will create number three, four, and five for me. So they are my labels. I'm going to put in one more label called total. Okay, and beneath that one is where my actual calculation will occur. The reason we use labels is so that it provides information about the spreadsheet. If we just had the numbers put in, if someone else used my spreadsheet, they may find it hard to understand. So we need to include labels in our spreadsheet so we actually have information provided about how to use the spreadsheet. The next thing now I'm going to put in are my values. So in cell A2, I'm going to put the number 1. In cell B2, I'm going to put the number 1. In cell C2, I'm going to put the number 1. In cell D2, I'm going to put the number 1. And cell E2, I'm going to put the number 1. So I have five ones here. Okay, and I'm going to test that the total equals 5 by being a simple formula that I already know my head around. Now, when numbers are actually entered as numbers, they are values. What I'm going to enter now is a formula. Now, a formula may appear as a number, but in fact, it is written as a formula in the spreadsheet software. So I'm going to start off by pressing equals, and that's what starts off all our formulas. And I'm going to write A2. Okay, plus B2, plus C2, plus D2, plus E2. I'm now going to press enter, and as you can see, it equals 5. So basically, it's added the five preceding numbers, but in reality, this is what's actually entered into the cell not the number five. So I hope you understand the difference between labels, values, and formulas. Our labels provide us with information about the spreadsheet. Our values are numbers entered into the spreadsheet that will be used for calculations. And our formulas are the calculations on our spreadsheet. The beauty of this being a formula now is that if I change this number here to the number 11, it automatically updates the formula to 15. So I hope it gives you a good understanding of that, as well as the layout of a spreadsheet using columns, rows, and cells.